So what's up guys? Um, this is what we are going to be doing here today. Let me just do a playback of it. So let's just jump right into what we are going to be doing here today. Now I'm going to make a new sequence. So I'm going to be using DSLR 24 frames per second. I'm just going to open a new timeline for us. So we're going to open a new title and going to be making use of the rounded corner rectangle tool. So actually we'll be making just one. Then we'll duplicate it five times. Yeah, we're going to be making one there. Duplicate it five times. So you can change the property however you like then you can change the color to whatever type to whatever you want you can change the color to whatever color you want either red yellow green whatever color of your choice so we are changing each shape To a different color but make sure the last color is the color you want to end your animation with so after that you can put the duration at five seconds yeah, make sure it's five seconds or if you want your animation to last more than that can probably put it at whatever time you want either 10 15 seconds depending on how long you want the animation to last then you go into your effects panel and search for the wave warp effect yeah, then you apply then you apply your wave warp effect on the title Then you change your wave width to 90. And the height to 18. I think we're good right now. Let me just do a playback of that. So I would advise you render that immediately you apply that effect. Render it so you can have a better view of what you just did. Yeah, I think we're cool now. So we open a new title. Yes, we we'll open a new title. This time around, we're going to be using the rectangle tool. And make sure the color of the rectangle is the color you want your animation to end with. Make sure that's the color you want your animation or your logo to end with. Then you bring your rectangle to the timeline. And make sure the second rectangle shape is under the first one. It's under the rounded corner rectangle shape. I'd advise before you play back, make sure you render first so you can have an idea of what your effect looks like at every time. Copy the attributes of the first title, then paste it on the second title. Now we're going to animate the position.
The reason why the rectangle shape is like this is because I added a wave warp effect before pasting the attributes of the first clip. So let's delete the first wave warp effect I added. Now I think we're good. So now I would like us to increase the height of that rectangle shape of the second rectangle shape that we did. Yeah, let's increase the height. I think that's okay now. So now let's animate both both shapes together, both titles together. So they can appear at the same time. Always make sure the last color is what you want your logo to end with. That's the color you want your logo to end with. So now you select the two titles, then you right click and click on next to match the two titles together. So now what do we do? Bring in our logo to the timeline. Make sure we position the logo very well. Yeah, I think I'll just reduce the scale and position here. Logo is looking a bit bigger. Now we search for the track mac key effect. Track mat key. search for that now I think we I think I got it now so we place that on the nested clip so after applying that so we change our mat to video 2 then change from mat alpha to Matt Luma. So this is gonna help us hide our video inside our logo. So I think we're done. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, kindly support us by clicking on the subscription button and put on the notification bell. That will notify you anytime we upload another video.